All right. Another playthrough. <clears throat> I probably shouldn't really be doing this. I'm not in the best of moods. Just got through eating some pizza, and it ain't sitting well inside my ass. Some people eat to make themselves feel better, but in many cases, you're, you're just eating to make yourself feel like shit later down the line. Okay. Might as well go with this character. Chronic schizophrenia, borderline personality disorder. Let's see, treatment, psychotropic meds, anger management, therapy via intercom only. That's not really therapy. That That's really just you being in a prison system and they saying, Motherfucker, you aight? Here's your goddamn food. So, I, I'm going to take the mic off a little bit. I got to do something they real quick. Everything. So I could sit and think all day long about what I'd lost. My freedom, my wife, even my pride. It was hard to know which one I missed the most. Sometimes when I'm locked up. That man looks reminds me of a version of Michael Jackson for some reason. Coming back to get me. None of it was real. It was just my head going Literally, it makes me think of Michael Jackson when it, after all that then, surgery. One day, I had a visitor. And that's when everything changed. He said his name was Calypso. He ran some kind of weird contest. And he was looking for people like me to Why be Why does Calypso have a dent in his head? He told me if I won, I could have the one thing my heart desired. I may be no rocket scientist, but I know opportunity when I see it. That pilot had taken a piece of my life and twisted it all around. How could I refuse the chance for revenge? All right, you, you probably heard a lot of noise with me taking the microphone off, putting it back on, and, and readjusting everything. I win this game, I get my revenge. Maybe I'm... I'll even get lucky and get my old face back too. Yeah, you don't know Calypso. He won't do that. It's pretty much one or the other with him. And even if you select something very specifically, he's gonna find a way to fuck you over. It's a great way to start. <laughs> I don't need that bullshit. So this vehicle is very sluggish. what I've pretty much figured out. Oh. Don't let yourself get hit now. They, they feisty today. Ah, I'm not too fond of this guy's special. Okay, Sweet Tooth, you, you made a fatal error and you're going to be punished for it. Because I'm going to find that no good dirty laughing ass and get rid of you. I got no turbo already. I'm pretty much walking around naked. Yeah, I'm not too fond of this vehicle with how sluggish it is. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh. Well, 
Well, his special isn't bad. I'll tell you that, because I just totally murdered Outlaw. Of course, Shadow would be a piece of shit. Pretty much standard for her. I really need turbo. Damn! I didn't mean to go off that. Damn! Yeah, I don't like this vehicle whatsoever. Okay. That's one of these knuckleheads down. Sweet Tooth, I hear you, but I don't give a shit about you. Go find something else to do, my man. I really desperately need help. Yeah, driving in this game is really... <laughs> I'm going to complain about it until I die, but it's going to take some time getting used to this. The good thing about this vehicle is that he's got armor. Yeah, this is exactly what I need. Turbo is basically a weapon in this game. Damn, that was a bad shot. I'm sorry you gotta watch this shoddy play, but again, still new, still learning. Shadow, you piece of shit. You know, she's gonna be a real difficult lady to deal with. She's one of those women who just plays hard to get. She knows she's attractive. She knows you want some of that. Damn. I'm not gonna bother chasing her. I, I know Shadow far too well. <laughs> yeah, she's one of those women that knows you're attracted to her. And she likes to play games with you. You know, you get to get up close to her and then she's gonna push back. You back away, she's gonna come close. You stay still, she's gonna do something. The hell was that, game? Come on. Ah, shit. Go, 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 go. She's gonna kill me. I don't wanna die already. Yeah, his special is actually pretty good. Like, really solid. Nah, I'm not getting close to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Hey, he's got good armor. His steering is sluggish. You know, he moves pretty slow. He's kind of clunky. So if you're new to this game like me... The only thing that's really saving you right now is his armor. So before we go ahead and exit, do the usual tradition, stock up. I'm gonna grab this just in case. You never know with this game. <clears throat> you can go ahead and make fun of my driving skills all you want to. That's... Shit, I didn't even grab that. This music is pretty good. I 
I'm not very good, as you can see, as you can tell and see. But that was actually really easy. Much easier than I really thought it was gonna be. Okay, so I think I went to the suburbs last time. I'm very split on Junkyard Dog right now. On one hand, his special has a very fast recharge. It moves quicker than, what is it, the, the gas can, which is replacing the napalm. So that, that's going to take a little bit to get used to. I don't know if you can get it point blank range and launch it and then it automatically explodes. I'm not too sure about that just yet. that but yeah this damn now of course I'm not good but I'm telling you if you haven't played this game this guy's special is pretty decent like really good it's like a spike ball damage combo once you get used to its speed, I can see the special weapon being really good. Like, really good. Ah, someone's behind me. Come on, start moving, start moving. You're gonna have to uh, get used to his sluggishness, but... With the armor that you get with this guy, it's not too bad. I'm really not in the best of moods because of this goddamn pizza, I'll tell you something. Neither is my ass. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Terrible shot. Axel, cut it out with that garbage. Yeah, for some reason... Yeah. I'm assuming that's Axel spamming that. They probably made him the exact same as Twisted Metal 2. Where he just shoots that garbage at you non-stop. I think the best part about this game is that they don't have that knock-around feature, which is complete garbage. Yeah, they're kicking my ass right now. But I'm not exactly focusing, I'm just kind of talking a little too much. Which is probably not the best idea. Yeah, basically do a little less talking, more more fighting, more paying attention. Ah! Side destroyed. I can already see it now. I'm gonna be real irritated when I get to uh, Warhawk because this guy does not have speed. How'd I miss that? Game, what are you doing? I 
I'm gonna say one criticism though in regards to the turbo. Two actually. It being on the double tap thing and you can't change that is really not a good idea, personally. Come on, game. I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, this, this is atrocious play. Like I said, I'm, in, I'm not in the best of moods. I should not have played this game after eating that pizza because it's literally, I can feel it seeping through my damn brain and body. Like, I literally feel shit in my head right now that shouldn't be there. There you go. Yeah, Junkyard Dog has a really hefty amount of health. And a good special. Come on. <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting how pathetic jumping is. Axel, find something else to do, buddy. Although, they can dodge those mines with absolute ease. So, if, if, you, if you're playing this game and you think you can cheese it by just placing those down, they, they will actively avoid that shit. That, all that is is really a deterrent to just make them slow down. That, that's really it. That's what you get, Mr. Buff Baldwin Brown. Yo, goofy, aggressive ass was clowning around. Come on. Yeah, the, the computer players are being real stupid right now. They're allowing me to get away with this shit because any other time they'd be on my ass like white on rice. But today, they're being very generous. Yeah, I mean, like, you see this terrible play, but. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Yeah, <laughs> that was a little too easy. Uh, yeah, highway loop. Now, I do recall that on my playthrough when I first played it. Yeah, let me go ahead and close the window. We in the hood, so you, you go sometimes here to motorcycles and shit. And the music blasting. I really couldn't give a damn right now. Anybody want to come near me? I've got a nice present for you. I lost a lot. I took a lot of damage there for some reason. Dark side. I don't know what kind of what kind of shit you're drinking, but that's that's not how you encroach somebody.
Yeah, they're playing real passive today for some reason. I'm not gonna bother with you, Spectre. Should turn around and clap that ass, but... Damn! I mean, I know that's me being shit, but still, it's very frustrating to miss that kind of weapon. Because you know it does good damage. I hope you run over every bit of that. I'm going to go out and say the exact same thing I said about Sweet Tooth. This is a very good starter vehicle. If you're new to this game, this vehicle is really solid for what you want. Good armor, good special. That's good enough damage. Get out of there. This game is a bit more of a hit and run. Should have killed me, but I basically have plot armor right now. This traffic's really starting to irritate me. Back here. Ah, I missed that shot. God damn. Oh, come on, Mary Jane. I like the satellite pickup more than I like the uh, reticle, but that's really a skill issue on my end because, <laughs> I mean, you've seen so far, every time I use that goddamn thing, it's really a... <laughs> yeah, this special charge is quick. Uh-uh, don't give me none of that back talk, boy. Pretty sure we're already at Minion. Probably where the game gonna murder me over and over and over again.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the strategy that Shag mentioned before. I'm gonna do it again. But I'm gonna try to not be shit at it. But that, that's partially depending on whether or not this guy's gonna be a piece of shit. Since it's a boss, it's made by a single track. You know, incognitos, they're gonna make something garbage. On purpose. Just piss you off. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Time to get out of there. Okay. Got the, uh... The meter recharge, and I'm gonna sit right in the middle here. God damn, I fucked up big time. I didn't realize how much this flamethrower could do that much damage. Shit! You really have to pay attention in this game. Sorry, Shag, but I don't have the skills or the game sense to really be able to pull it off. See it either. Yeah, his flamethrower is ungodly. Going through this game deathless on the hardest difficulty is, is pretty much going to be damn near fucking impossible. I, I think I want to save that. Yeah, take notes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't don't be retarded and, and sit right next to a big, when super duper tanker that's got a giant I ass mega flamethrower and just allow yourself to take damage to, to hope he shows you his booty panel. That's stupid. I remember it so well. We was two weeks from harvest. I was checking out the crop when I heard this noise up in the air. There were no dust and schedule that afternoon. I hollered for the guy to stop, but it just kept coming. I didn't know what was happening at first. I couldn't breathe, and my heart was beating so fast, thank the Lord, I passed out real quick. I thought I was dead. I must have been out for hours, and when I woke up, well, my God, what had happened to me? You done turned into a demonic version of Michael Jackson. That's My what first happened. thought was to get home to Annie. Post she was real smart. She'd figure out what to do. But when I got there, I guess she'd already figured out something else. Now that's a wicked woman right I heard there. Laughing. Talking about how they'd go the next week, try to collect the life insurance. Everything hurt. Yep. My face, my mind, my heart. <laughs> I remember grabbing for the closest thing I could find. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just something you I don't lost do. It. I, I know in the heat of the moment, when it comes to that, don't now, do it. It was strictly between me and Anne. Especially not as a man. Just, just... You have to walk away from that kind of situation. Well over an hour. 
You couldn't even tell who she was. There's no good ending to that. There's a man out there took my wife and turned me into a freak. When I win this contest, he's gonna pay for what he done. I'm not the most emotionally connected person, but I could I could logically analyze that situation, and uh, <laughs> I, I, it is almost impossible for many people to hold back their emotional impulsive uh, impulsiveness because that's a dirtbag move, especially when you hear, "Oh, well, we gonna take the life insurance policy." Yeah, well, I've had a life insurance policy taken out of me by a family member, so it's a little weird when you hear about that. It's like, well, what's the reason for that? It was that pilot then steered her wrong. They both fucked up, man. Don't don't rationalize that. They both fucked up. Yeah. It's the same thing as usual with this map. Damn, I don't mean to shoot that weapon. Hope they run into any of this. <laughs> Axel, please don't intervene. Mr. Grimm is waiting to get killed. Axel, you piece of shit, man. Thought we were boys, but I guess not. Yeah, there's no way. There's just no way I could play this game properly. Every time I play this map, it fucks me over right in the beginner. Like, obviously, I know you have to come to that map prepared, but I, I thought I actually did, but... It, just, it seemed like it just took all my weapons. Why are you up here already, man? Axel seems like he really wants to just die. Oh. Ah, fucked up big time. He's doing the same dumb shit he'll do in Twisted Metal 2, where he'll completely spash out with that special if you're within range. They, they couldn't give him anything else but Axel Power. You know, at least when he first debuted, he has that charm, even though it's kind of annoying, that he'll just, Axel Power! Now he just kind of sneezes on you. Yeah, Sweet Dude just gave me that T-pose. Can't blame him there. I'm receiving some lag right now, I'm not sure why. Might be death.
They are really plotting and scheming on how to stop me. Oh, it's Axel. You know I'm getting that ass. I'm not doing too good right now. They, they, they are really kicking my ass. really think about how I'm going to approach this situation. Wow, I could do that. I don't know who's behind me, but I hope it's not roadkill. I can definitely tell there's one thing I'm going to have to really practice, because my muscle memory is really... You have to use the break in this game. The break is actually very useful in this game. Like, it really prevents you from sliding around everywhere. Fuck out of here with that. Who is this? You know what? Ooh, barely made that. You know, you're going to have to stop playing with yourself and get down here, whoever you are. Oh, this guy. That means you got to be careful because he's, he's got a trick up his sleeve. Usually. Because it's very hard to tell when he is going to charge up that purple fizz. That's really what he gives you. He just gives you electrified purple soda. That, that alternate special. Oh, man. This map. This is my least favorite map. I, I really don't like this map too much. 
This arena is this air is tight as death, but I'll get through it. Got to bring Flyboy back down. There. What the hell is that? What does that mean? Oh, okay, that's his enemy. Surprised I even hit that shot. All right, all I know is play more passive. Use this as a barricade, a barrier. No. Really think about what you're doing here. Because these computer players are actually thinking with you. Alright. I don't know what Sweet Tooth is doing, but I don't like it. Damn. Yeah. I really don't like this map. I mean, it's really a good thing that they do play passive, but that doesn't change this map from being really annoying to play in. I don't know who that's doing any damage to, but... It's me fucking up. I think I can go down here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is actually really annoying. I'm pressing the button for shield game. Get up there. What are you doing? Yeah, I really don't like this fucking map. I really don't. And I think uh, this is probably considered to be a... I don't know if it's a favorite map of some people who played this game, but I've heard some positive stuff about, you know, the aesthetic. Yeah, that don't really matter when it plays like shit. Like, I can understand maybe when you get used to the map, it becomes alright, but it has everything that is basically irritating in a game like this. Huh. Uh, some of the items are placed where you have to be very specific with how you drive, which usually sets you up to just get shot. There is hardly any place to hide. The way you have to maneuver around in this... It's really not a fun time. I'm a down, sweet tooth. It's okay. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I don't see how I beat that. This can't be on medium. It can't be. There's no way. I'm going to have to check the settings again to make sure I... Because I have not changed the settings at all, and this seems... I should be getting my ass beat, but I'm not. Jesus, so many rooftops to fall off. <laughs> you, you should have seen me first play this map, my man. It's probably a hint that they're giving you, because Junkyard Dog is a pretty heavy bastard. It's alright, Gim. I don't want no presents right now. That might do some damage. Woo, boy! 
Woo! I almost failed that one. <laughs> what you doing? Come on, get up there. This is going to be the challenge of the century. Driving this goddamn thing up there. <laughs> okay, that, that's obviously not working. Ah, I see what you're doing. Man, this is dangerous. I'm not going to bother staying up here because th that's going to get me killed. Just trying to get some items. For some bizarre reason, I'm lagging, which shouldn't be happening. No. I think that's the first time I ever fell in there. Man, what a waste. No way I'm getting that. Mr. Grim, what are you doing? I'm at low health. I'm waiting on one of them to come down here so they can die. But they're really thinking about it. And they're not doing it. So they must kind of fear Junkyard Dark because any other time they would have been down here. Good job, Dark Side. You, you did exa the exact maneuver I would have done if I was playing as you, which is a goddamn shame. That means you pitiful. What is th <laughs> that? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, that has to be an oversight to put that there, because it's not like you get three power missiles, you only get one. Why risk your whole existence for something that you probably just can't even grab? Gotta make sure to jump to make that. Good, good, good. You're gonna sit there. I know that's boring to watch, but why the hell do I care? <laughs> oh 
Okay. They did not like me doing that. Leave her be. Ah, that's bad, bad, bad. I'll break out of that. Yeah, what's your health like? Trying to figure who this is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You know, this <laughs> this really isn't making any sense right now. Is Junkyard Dog this good for beginners? I'm having an easier, smoother time with him than Sweet Tooth. But this this could all change right here. I'm going to enjoy killing you. If that was taken out of context and someone just walked in there and had no idea you were playing a video game, they'd probably tell you to go seek help. But it's true. I'm gonna enjoy killing this guy. I'm gonna hate fighting him, but I'm gonna enjoy murdering him. I gotta got play this dumb game while I drive around in circles because. Because of the crazy shit he's allowed to do. About to say, blow that up. Oh, come on, helicopter. What the fuck was that? That thing just slowed down on me. Get, get back here. What are you doing? Thank you. My goodness. Warhawk shield is that that's quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy murdering you. I don't think that did anything to him, to be honest with you. I think he's about to grab me, because he can do that. If he does grab you, that's basically death. Man, that's annoying. I'm trying to shoot you, but... <laughs> oh, man. This guy is not going to be fun to try to go through the game deathless because barely anything fucking hits him. 
And this is the kind of design decision I guarantee you that Jaffe was making this decision because he really likes to make the dumbest decisions in regards to bosses. He knows how to piss people off. I mean, that hits you, but... Yeah, I get it, Warhawk. You, you're really upset with me, but feelings mutual, you bastard. Game, I'm putting on the shield. <laughs> yeah. This, this boss fight was not well thought out. I'm gonna say that right now, because you have all these weapons that you put on the map, but you, you don't exactly make it so that you can hit the main target. It's almost like everything's designed around exactly this guy and only that guy. Now there could be a trick to how to do it because it seems that if you press on his nose with the spikes, aim towards that, but... He's gotta show that shit to you. And he's already unloading everything from his I wicked ass on you when he shows that. And now, it was my turn to collect. I went to see Calypso. And just as promised, he delivered the goods. I knew right from the start, he'd get me the revenge I was craving. When we went back to the farm, Calypso said he had a little surprise for me. Calypso, you gotta get that tumor checked out in your head. Somehow, he'd done it. He'd found that bastard who made me kill Annie. You could see the, of intense, brought his plane. the intensity of this man's face. Now, not, not this guy, but Junkyard. Calypso you can see all I had to do just how much he wants to revenge. Aboard. And I don't blame him. It was a one-way ticket to my heart's desire. That pilot had taken everything from me. <sighs> it was the right time he learned how it felt. Calypso, you sick bastard. time I killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> so damn good. Calypso's face. To see my true that motherfucker was so too happy seeing that shit. And moved into the city. In a place like that, well, who knows what kind of trouble an old redneck like me could get into. They'll probably take advantage of you. You'll become a blue collar worker, to be quite honest. Uh, you know, being in a certain. It depends on what kind of city you're in. Yeah, good luck. Because if you in if you in like certain environments where. Like, for example, I'm in an urban environment where it's like the ghetto in the hood. And in the nicer area, well, at least, it, 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 like, you know, in the urban area, you have the federal buildings. Like, you literally have the governmental buildings not too far from where I can literally walk over there right now. It'll only take me about 10 minutes to walk over there. And it only takes me about 10, 15 minutes to walk directly to the hood where things are just run down and... You know, you, you can tell they don't give a shit here. Okay. Select a memory card slot. Why do I need a memory card to go to the options? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Surprisingly, I did not do too terrible. Uh, I don't think I'm getting better at the game. I think the game is just taking off a lot of pressure. So it's, it's clearly on medium. I didn't change that to easy by accident, but you, 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 if you've been following these playthroughs, you, what the hell was that? Oh, okay. You clearly saw how easy it was for me to just go through this. Now, of course, it could be Junkyard Dog is actually that good for, I'd say, beginners and maybe a moderately skilled player for, sing for the single player game, because that's, that's all I focus on. Uh, there, there's some people who've subscribed to me and they give me credit for being a really good Twisted Metal player. Um, I have to explain that that is only for the games that I've practiced and that is only for single player because I've never had the opportunity to play multiplayer ever at all. Because when I was young, I had a scratch disc of Twisted Metal 2 and I was never good at all. Like I, I barely could make it to the end with medium. I had to put passwords in constantly. And I didn't know how to do action commands. Believe it or not, I thought if you drove around like a computer player, you would actually be able to shoot whatever they were shooting that you couldn't do. But I learned that that was a really stupid thought process. Twisted Motor 4, I actually got that as, I believe, a birthday or Christmas present. 
And I was never bad at that game, but I was never good. I didn't know exactly really. I understood the action commands because I had a manual at that time. But even then, I, I, I couldn't even get to immortal rank. I played on hard when it came to deathmatch and I got my ass handed to me. So, I mean, I do appreciate the compliments. And I, I'm glad that some people who do watch, they do like the commentary. I'm not the best commentator in the world because I don't I don't have too many stories to tell. I'm I'm very repetitive, but sometimes having that voice in the background when you're watching someone play a game is different than just watching the gameplay because you you kind of get to peer into what the hell this person's thinking when they're doing this. So, it's Mr. BPD in the brackets known as CBG. And I thank thee for tuning in and listening to me. Take it easy.